Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you don't know already, my name is Jay. I am an online full-time reseller on eBay and I do this channel here on YouTube just to show you guys what I get up to, how I run my business and hopefully, fingers crossed, it can maybe help some people out, get started or help them with their online business as well. So if you don't know, I have been away for maybe three weeks, four weeks, give or take. Uh, I have moved house on the 23rd of March uh, this year. I moved house from uh, a little way, ways away and now I'm here. So in this video, I'm just going to be giving you an update of what's been going on in the last couple of weeks. Obviously, there has been changes in the world and uh, yeah, my business has kind of taken a turn. Uh, but I'm going to be talking about that in today's video. So I'm actually doing a voiceover because the audio quality from my GoPro is terrible. Uh, so my hand gestures may not match up with what I'm talking about, uh, but don't worry too much about that. In future videos, I will be getting my audio equipment fixed, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, so basically what I'm showing in this video is my new, my new storage area. As you can see right now, I have two units. These were the ones from my previous location, uh, which I had purchased from Costco. They are very sturdy, so if you're in the area for getting some storage shelving, these cost me £50 each, I believe. They're made out of really high quality metal and they have nice wooden uh, bases for each of the uh, tiers of the shelving, very sturdy. As you can see, I have two. I'm hopefully going to be getting two to three more of these for this room if I can fit them in. Because we have some new stock coming in the next day or so. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to have a massive pallet of stuff uh, arriving tomorrow on Wednesday. But as you can see, my stock is dwindling. Uh, I've had a very good last month on eBay, uh, even during these harsh times. Obviously, a lot of my stuff that I sell is gaming equipment whereas uh, a lot of other people who are struggling don't really have as much gaming stuff as you can see this shelf here with all my games on uh, very low quantities left i had like three stacks uh, forwards worth of wii which has gone really well xbox 360 playstation all that stuff uh, that shelf was basically full uh, with games uh, down now i have one wii board left i had two to begin with um they went up from like six to ten pounds each to like 40 to 50 and if you had a brand new one i know people were getting 150 pounds for them which is crazy i didn't have a new one but i did manage to sell a black rare one for around 50 pounds uh, but yeah my stock is very very low right now so i do have like i said a big pallet worth of uh, gaming stuff coming tomorrow uh, so fingers crossed in the next few days there'll be loads of videos coming up on the channel showing you what i have managed to get my hands on during these times obviously i can't go out and source so buying a pallet was pretty much my best option so hopefully i can do well on that if not it's just going to give me something to do for the next few uh, weeks if not month uh, but yeah this is my new storage area it's not huge but it's going to be fine for the rest of this year at least uh, in the future we may have to expand uh, but yeah as you can see uh, not a lot of stuff on these shelves i think 500 listings right now whereas before i had nearly a thousand so you can just see how much i've sold and my board games are very very low whereas before we had hundreds of the things and they've all flown out uh, of the stock so yeah we are now in my second space which is my um more of the businessy side this is where i do photography print the labels work out what i need to pull from my stock area as you can see i have a laptop printer that printer is actually not there anymore i just have the thermal printer uh, and my photography area to the left there that's all going to be getting updated in the future but for now this is kind of like a temporary gig uh, in the in here with obviously the the wallpaper paste table which is held up with uh, I don't even know what it's held up with but it's um, it sags in the middle so we've got a plank of wood holding it up in the middle there um, but yeah all my packing supplies underneath I'm going to be making a stand to hold them in because right now they're just in a cardboard box um, but yeah we do have a few things here that I need to photograph and list this is my old thermal printer uh, I used to do all of my parcels, I'd take them to Royal Mail and they would, um, like an actual post office, and they would print up my stuff for me. So I would use that old thermal printer just for the name and the addresses. And then obviously they would print the, the actual like postage label and stuff. But since we're in harsher times now, I have to drop them off uh, straight away without standing around getting postal 
postage and stuff, which I don't think you can even do right now. So I upgraded to this Zebra uh, GK420D Thermal. It does the full Royal Mail uh, stickers for my parcels. And I got that on eBay auction for £125. Uh, and brand new, that's like 350 400 I think. Something crazy like that. It's insane how expensive they are. But I managed to get that pretty good price. And I also picked up 3,000 labels for it for £22, which is insane. Seeing as I spent more than that on a cartridge of ink for my laser jet printer just to do uh, the postage um, in the meantime until I got that printer. So that's going to be a very good investment for the future. Uh, but yeah, this is where I do all my kind of like packing and all that. So in the next day when my parcel, parcel, <laughs> when my pallet arrives... Uh, it's all going to be carried upstairs because this is all on the second floor and brought in here. If it fits, probably won't, but this is where it will be coming through uh, to get photographed and then listed. And it will go in my storage area in the other room. So as you can see, these are my photography lights and they are huge, as you can see. Um, I actually bought these years ago for streaming. I used to do live streaming and I needed a light set up for a green screen. So that's why I have these. Um, I wouldn't suggest anyone buy these for reselling. They're huge, they're cumbersome, they fall over, they hit you on the head. Um, I'm going to be upgrading to some LCD panels or LED panels, whatever they are, um, in the future because these ones are just way too big for what I need and they're just really annoying. Uh, but yeah, so this is it pretty much for the new place. It is like three times bigger, the amount of space that I had at the previous place. Um, which is good because I now have space to grow my business again. Last time I went from nothing to something and now I'm going from something to something else. I, I didn't really know where I was taking that but yeah anyway it's gonna grow and now I have space to do it at least for a year or so uh, until it grows too big and then yeah. But anyway thank you so much for watching guys. Appreciate you coming in for this little bit of an update video. And in the next few days, there's going to be lots more stuff on the channel. Hopefully, I'll see you guys there. And in the meantime, stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.